Identification Day is a free public event here at the Texas Memorial Museum where we invite the public to bring in their natural objects. Could be a fossil, could be a rock, an artifact, and talk to experts about what you have found. The age group that we get coming to these, they're genuinely interested in nature and they're genuinely interested in what they find. They want to know all about it. I'm, I'm interested in everything. It's like fossils or bones or minerals or something that's like it's like special and you don't find every day. One of the other great things is actually letting children see scientists at work. Ooh, this is nice. A possum. I think it's an opossum? Yeah. How did you know it was an opossum? I know it's a tiny jaw. It's a tiny jaw? It's pretty good. Can you tell which one of these skulls is the opossum I have on the table? Yes. Excellent. And it's sort of like Antiques Roadshow. We'll tell you all about them. We don't do monetary appraisals, but it's you know just as much fun, just as much as excitement because you know you never know what people are going to bring in. We were cleaning the pasture up and picking up rocks and I said, Drew, this looks like a piece of petrified wood. So we didn't toss that in the wash pile, thank goodness. Well, what you have is definitely not petrified wood. You actually have some fossilized bone and you've got part of the lower jaw of what appears to be a mastodon. So mastodon are present here in Texas during the Ice Age. So, you know, we're talking something that's at least 10,000 years old. This is not a tooth that, of course, came with this, but to give you an idea of what a mastodon tooth looks like, the tooth would actually, if this were a match, would actually be sitting right about here, and there'd be a small one ready to help push this tooth out because mastodon, like elephants and mammoths, actually changed their teeth out kind of like a conveyor belt. So from back to front. Okay. So keep your eyes open because That's if you've got exciting. one piece of mastodon, you could find remains of other Pleistocene or other Ice Age animals there as well. Oh so. my goodness. There's a lot of people kind of think about this as fossil identification day, uh -huh. but we have a lot of people who bring in geological objects and a lot of artifacts. I um, was on a beach and just felt it with my foot. And it was, it, obviously had a sharp edge to it, and I was like, what is that? So I picked it up, realized what, you know, it was some type of arrowhead. One of the things I recognize is that you've got a kind of chert here that's called Ogallala chert. We have contracting stem points based on size alone. I suspect the most is, is transitional uh, atlatl spear thrower to the bow and arrow. Mm -hmm. And that means, I think we're talking about late archaic, late prehistoric. But that's in general the kinds of points you have in it. The first one in AD, mm -hmm. uh, up to about 1000 AD. Well I thought they'd be more current, maybe the 1800s, 1700s, the Indian tribes up there, but he said they were more around the time of Christ. You know, that's, that's, that's pretty neat. My favorite part of Identification Day is actually, you know, seeing people get their little mysteries solved. It's really rewarding to me that people are excited about what they found and then excited to learn what it is. Every time I went in my garage, I would look at it and just kind of ask it, what are you? It just got started to pique my interest in, you know, in anthropology, you know, the bones. I, I want to go back out and see what else I can find. <laughs>